Hello everyone and welcome back to the patch notes video for the brand new Demon King Meliodas. So, with this patch notes, of course, we will go be going over, uh, not the banner, but the relics that are involved with the update as well, that being a big festival Merlin and Hawk's Relic. Of course, all these dates you see are completely incorrect because, of course, these are the JP patch notes. I prefer to actually go over the JP patch notes as they have more information. But yeah, as you can see, this Meli is a base UR character, which of course I've done a video on, going over my thoughts on it. In my opinion, they should just call him an LR Meli, and then we wouldn't have had all this sort of thing saying he's still UR. Like, if he was LR base, a whole different story, would we wouldn't people wouldn't have complained, but they just called him UR for no reason. Uh, new story, which is good, that's another 30 diamonds, outfits for Meli, this one looks really sick. This one's like Super Saiyan Air, and that one's like an ancient one. Not bad. <laughs> True Awakening system, of course. Uh, I went over this in the other video. These are the materials you also need to True Awaken as well. So you need 10 LR coins. Three of these, which you can either buy from the coin shop or trade 12 Super Awakening coins for. And then these crystals, which you get all from RNG from the brand new uh, Demon King event. This one here. I say event. It's a permanent game mode. I don't know why they stuck it at the top left like it is an event. It's a permanent game mode. Uh, so once a week, you can basically do the lower difficulty. You actually have to pay a coin to do the higher difficulty. It only Extreme opens up for free. Not hell. Kind of stupid, but you know. Nothing you can really do about it. From Extreme, you're guaranteed 8 of these crates. Which only have 2 of the resources each at random. 2 of these crystals each at random. And then, of course, you randomly get them, where a hell has 17, and once again, you still get two random, but you still get them. Uh, additional cards, you got a new card set, that's from the Purgatory, like, demon thing. I don't know why, that's probably from a new event boss, or maybe from the new Demon King event. Uh, two new relics, so we'll go over uh, whatever name, Merlin's first. So Merlin's is, if everyone on your team, including the back unit, has the characteristic of a sin, you all get 15% basic stats straight away. And then for every debuff uh, that you have, you get 3% damage reduction per debuff up to 30% damage reduction. Of course, these debuffs have to be on the enemy. But 30% damage reduction is pretty nice, especially with the 15% basic stats, as well as Merlin already being a very tanky character as it is. Just going to be very tanky. Do I think it will be map breaking? No. And Hawk's Relic has just increases damage dealt by 10% when using skills, so <laughs> nothing impactful. Uh, her Relic... Uh, Merlin's Relic is a Nidhogg Relic, and Hawk's Relic is a Dog's Relic. So I farm dogs, so of course I've already got the materials for it, and I'm going to have enough Nidhogg materials for Merlin anyway, so that won't be a problem. Okay, Festival Coin Shop, so if you want to buy any characters from the coin shop, these are the ones that, that will be in the coin shop. Of course, you like the original ones, you're Lost Fane, Goddess Liz, uh, OG Fest King, you know, the, the one, the Lolly Merlin, Purgatory Barn. Hijack Gotha, Chad King, Queen Diane, Big Festival Merlin, AM Melee, Executioner Zeldris, uh, Margaret, Cusack, and then Estorosa. Preferably the ones you probably want dupes for are Estorosa, Diane, Merlin, Margaret, and Melly, because they're the ones, of course, Melly and uh, Margaret both have LRs. Merlin, of course, got a new relic. Estorosa is also very good for Demon Team. And then Queen Diane is just a very good character in general for having dupes for. Bundles, bundles, more bundles, more bundles. Uh, oh, the like the fortune thing. So you've got like on the thing. I think this is on New Year or yeah, on New Year Day. You get one fortune thing, which is either like good luck, great luck, or like it's very good luck or something. I don't bloody know. I don't actually remember. Uh, daily login rewards, so as you can see here, day one will get 60 diamonds, and the you can see the super ranking coins have been split up between the uh, four weeks it's going on for, getting 100, 50, 50, 100, which is, it's 300 is a lot, but bear in mind this new super awakening, this new, sorry, this new true awakening system is 36 super awakening coins per true awakening, it's a lot, and it, you know, it's not actually too much when you think about the amount we get. Uh, this is the free multi. Is it possible to get day one? Yes, it may take a little while though. Because of... Like this one is the do for soldiers twice. You have to wake up before reset. Or, you know, you'd have to do it before reset and then 
of course, do it again after. And then this one is like you have to defeat the like first boss stage in the like you have to wait, you collect the resources, and then you sort of do the fight. You have to get to uh, the first boss and defeat it, and then eventually you get the three more e as well as ten diamonds, which is kind of nice. Uh, this like this like spinny thing where you get like you have a chance of getting rewards every single time. These are the rewards you can get. Only twenty people will get a thousand diamonds. These are the, more, the more, at least you get thirty anvils if you get the worst reward, which is really nice. Uh, I think last year I got one thirty diamond one. And then most of the time I was getting like, I think, I don't know what it was, I think it was gold last year or something along the lines. That definitely wasn't this good last year. Oh yeah, this is the event you need to get to the first boss stage on. That one there, that, see it goes there. So you have one stage, two stage, three stage, four stages. And the boss stage is the fifth stage there. That's when you have to defeat to get the, um, to complete this challenge here. Apart from that, all the rest of them can easily be done day one. Uh, these are the resources you need, so you can get 40 of them a day, which you use to upgrade these stations here, which will increase the amount you get per hour. As you can see here, well, you get you get a, a certain amount every 10 minutes. It increases the amount you get every 10 minutes. And you've got these orbs here, which can be used to, like, vaporize one spot, or I think it's, like, taking down, like, four stages. They will have numbers, so this is one out of one, because there's only one stage. I'm pretty sure it takes out four, if I'm correct. I'm not too sure. Uh, for maxing out the these things here, you get different rewards depending on the levels. So when you get to level 10, you get SSR pendant, which is nice. New event boss, you got the Pikachu boss. Harbor guide day one, and then of course later on we then get Galen's nephew boss, or whatever it is, boss, which is kind of nice. Then you get rewards for completing it, which is nice again. Uh, five diamonds at the end. Cool, cool. And uh, we just get 20 LR coins from this, which is what is kind of insane. 20 LR coins. So my opinion is just start getting uh, start getting every LR that you can get. What I mean is like, let's just say you've got Margaret, you've got LR Liz, you've got Lost Vein, but you're not sure who to LR. LR all of them. Because if they're making coins this easy to get, you might as well just LR every character. They're going to have to make them very LR coins very easy to get because the new True Awakening requires LR coins. But the True Awakening is going to take you so long as a free to play player to get for even one character, you might as well just LR all the characters you can, because by the time that happens, it only costs you 10 LR coins to, let, to true awaken a character anyway, so you'll have that with ease. Uh, this is the like wish card event, so you can wish for old cards that have been in the game that you may not have been able to get. Uh, most of them are like event cards, so you have like, the 2022 April Fool's card set, you've got the recent summer card set, You've got this year's Valentine's Day card set. You've got all these card sets. You know, let's say you weren't playing for a certain period of time. You can get them through this. And you can select three cards you want to get. I'm pretty sure it ups the rates of them. But you don't actually have to select any. For example, I probably have all the cards. So I just won't select any. And I'll just get random cards every time. Which I don't really care about. And then we've got Labyrinth. Labyrinth is back for the 8th season. I don't think this is the 8th season of Labyrinth. Maybe it is. It could possibly be the 8th season of Labyrinth, but it's a Hell Outfit, which is kind of nice. It was the one that was leaked quite a while ago. And not only that, you can get 50 LR coins, you can get the card once again, you can get the Perg Melly and the Transcendent Barn Outfit. Unfortunately, you cannot get the Myel Outfit, My Outfit, which is like the only one that's actually missing from this selection. And you can also get 10 diamonds. Uh, I will actually be streaming this probably on Thursday of me farming it, because... I don't know, why not? I'll just be streaming on Thursday, because I've got to farm 50 LR coins, and they're 40 points a pop. There is uh, the lab, the depths, the depths of the labyrinth, whatever it's called. That is a thing this time, so it'll be, of course, much easier to farm the rewards here, which is nice. Uh, labyrinth box rewards. You can buy 30 of them. They cost you, like, 200 each, but these are the rewards you get. So if you feel like it's worth it farming it, go for it. I know you have the chapter clear events. So if you have cleared... Chapters 25, 26, 27, and 28, these are the rewards you get, which is like 20 diamonds, which is kind of nice, especially for late game players, an extra 20 diamonds, really nice. Uh, this is the Fort Zoldris 1 stamina thing, so it gives, guarantee gives you 1 diamond a day, uh, the, these are the guaranteed rewards, and then these are like the, if you get a gold chest, you have the chance to get this, if you get a silver chest, these are the chance to get this, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you have the, like, it's called a payback event, it's not a payback event, basically, this is, it, depending on how many diamonds you spend, depends on what, what rewards you get. So spending 270 will give you these. You're spending 900 will give you a melee outfit as well as all of these as well. Of course, I'll be spending 100 because I do my summon immediately, no matter if I get the free multi or not. And that's just how I roll. That's how I'm going to do it. So of course, I'll be getting that. 
uh, outfits they're bringing back. So they're bringing back some outfits like that can be bought with diamonds. Each one of these can be bought for 60 diamonds a pop. So the whole set is 60 diamonds. If you just want one piece, it is 20 diamonds per piece. <clears throat> but you can buy the Queen Diana one, the Ultimate one, Perg Melly, the Spring Margaret outfit, and the Spring Mael outfit. Of course, if you are missing these, uh, if you want, if you're looking for Margaret's uh, outfits to buy for Margaret because you have LR variant. You know, go for it. You know, here's some here. I'm not sure how good the stats are, but normally these limited tie ones have like half decent stats, so it's not too bad. Uh, King of Edge Exchange is like the normal exchange stuff we currently got going on. They're just resetting it. Nothing new here. Same thing we've currently got. They're just resetting it. Uh, this is also what we've got. They're just resetting it and bringing it back again. So if you collect all of them, you get 10 extra diamonds. But once again, it's luck. The lucky bag you can get. Uh, three naturally, and then three you actually have to purchase with real money. I'm not sure how, they're just in bundles. Let's say up to six, there we go. But three of them can be obtained through other ways. Uh, this, once again, they're extending it for another, like, two weeks. A new Hawk Pass, new Hawk Pass outfit is Liz, light Liz. No, brand new Liz, brand new Queen Liz. It actually looks very good, the cutting looks very nice. Uh, let me go find the cutting. So this is the, it's like a, fire, it's a fireman's outfit, this is the cutting for the Liz Hawk Pass outfit, there it is, I don't actually have a picture of the outfit, but that's the cutting, if you're interested. Uh, that is really it, nothing much, increase the box, uh, they've added more box CC levels up to 20 mil, uh, more item space in your, like, fair inventory. Uh, increase the max amount of leisure, uh, LR coins we can have from 100 to 200. Added the UR rarity to this. And you also get one extra GP point for having maxed out either UR or LR outfits, which are kind of nice as well. <clears throat> Sorry about this thing, I'm losing my voice just a little bit. Uh, changes in missions and content. This doesn't matter uh, unless you've like not played the game for a while and you're thinking about coming back. They've added true awakening coins to the coin shop and to King's Exchange. This is King's Exchange here. This is the coin shop here. Add gacha for, oh yeah, they've added a new Demon Melee animation as well. Sorry, Demon King Melee animation for summoning. But yeah, that's it. Uh, quite a big update. A lot of content. Uh, a lot of videos I'll have to record, but most of them will probably be, in, be towards the later end of next week. Because I'm busy Monday, Tuesday, and probably most of Wednesday as well. But of course, I'll try and get out as much relevant content as I can. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.